I'm Gabe Jewell, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix, everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at Action Comics number 966. Booster Gold and Superman continue to be lost in time and space. Will they ever make it back to Earth? Well, let's hop on in together and find out. Yeah, well, this is different. If you've been following along, you'll know the B story in this story arc has involved Lois Lane attempting to save her father, General Sam Lane, from getting executed in a foreign nation. Only in this issue, the story leads. Turns out that Lois has actually been to this country once before. She helped the populace battle for journalistic rights. And she even managed to make friends and important contacts with the local religious order. I think they're nuns, or at least whatever this place's version of nuns are. Joan the Superboy is there too, following his mother from afar, and you think for a second he's gonna jump in to save her, but nope, she actually has this under control. Truly, she is her father's daughter now. But hey, what's going on with Superman and Booster Gold? Well, at the end of the last issue, they had ended up falling through time once again, and now they're not exactly sure where they are. What they do know for sure, though, is that this planet is ruled by General Zod and his family. Skeets, the friendly robot pal and walking Wikipedia page, manages to fill in our heroes, and by extension the reader, that this is the planet that General Zod had run off to after he sprung his family from the Phantom Zone. They ended up taking the place over very easily and enslaving the local populace. If that wasn't bad enough, they also have a ready-made army of Eradicator robots to do their bidding. Now, these very same killer robots had been giving Superman a hard time in the last issue because he was cut off from Earth's yellow sun, but now that his batteries have finally had a chance to recharge, he can cut through them like they were nothing. It would seem that once again, Booster's time ship is broken. Seriously, this thing breaks every time he's used it in this story. What is it made of? Cardboard and chewing gum? And oh, you guessed it, if they want to fix it, they're going to have to go deeper into General Zod's operation to get the materials they need. Admittedly, their plan to get inside the city is pretty clever. Skeets uploads itself into the body of one of the downed Eradicator robots, and Superman and Booster Gold pretend like they're prisoners. And you know what? They probably would have gotten away with this gamble, too, if it wasn't for that meddling Eradicator, by which I mean the real Eradicator. You know, he ran off with Zod at the end of a previous arc, and he's still alive because robots don't age. They fight for a little bit, Superman having defeated the Eradicator previously. Now, the real problem, though, comes in the form of Lore Zod. Yep, that's right. General Zod's son, all grown up and ready for some revenge on Superman. Superman. For some reason, the comic treats this like it's some big, exciting reveal, even though he's literally on the cover knocking Superman around, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be surprised about. Either way, though, that's where the comic ends. So that was Action Comics number 996, everybody, and overall, it was fine. It's fine. This whole arc has been fine. I just can't help but feel that they're stretching this story out until they can get to a thousand. Some characters fight, some characters move around, but in the end, nothing important really happens. The lowest story is the one that has the most movement, but it also feels like they're taking their sweet time with this side plot. Same goes for the main A story with Superman and Booster Gold. In fact, we're basically repeating ourselves right now. They go to a place, the time ship gets broken or lost, and they need to get it back. There's perhaps some kind of interesting stuff where Superman wants to liberate the planet's slave populace, but Booster tells him not to, saying that they want to not mess with time any more than they already have, and if Superman goes back, he can stop all this evil before it happens. But that's really all I can say about it. Overall, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's fine, but I know this book can do so much better, and it feels like it's running in place for a reason. Overall, though, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. So that's Action Comics, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, be sure to take a closer look at some of these other videos I've been working on. Then you can head on down to the description, find links to my Twitter and Facebook page, so you always know what I'm doing next. And hey, if you like what I do and are feeling in a supportive mood, please, by all means, check out my Patreon page. Patrons get exclusive access to videos and content before anyone else, and they can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And until next time, everyone, this has been Gabe Joel. Thank you so much for watching and listening, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.